Hi guys, welcome back, and let's hop right into it. I'm using a different browser this time, so yeah. Okay, let's look at the first example. So, it says 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 minus 2 is 8, therefore 10 minus blank is 2. So, this is another review. So, what eight plus what addition and multiplication has is the commutative property, and that basically means this is the same, and eight plus two, eight plus two equals ten is the same, and two plus eight is the same, but it's not same. But this is not same as when you do 8 minus 2 is 6 and 2 minus 8 is 6. Those are not correct. It does not work for subtraction and division. And but if you want to look for one of these numbers, which we are, you could get that's what subtraction and division is used for. For addition, it's subtraction. So, to find one of these numbers, you get the sum minus one of these numbers. Let's do 2. And the answer is 8. And same thing, if you use 8, the answer will be 2. So, if you put that in context, if 2 plus 8 is 10, and 10 minus 2 is 8, that means 10 minus 8 equals 2 because because to find 2 you have to find something that is subtractable from 10 so basically what I'm saying is that you since 8 plus 2 is 10 right to find one of these numbers and one of these numbers 2 you have to get the sum, which is, I'm going to use a different color, the sum, which is 10, here, and subtract from one of these numbers. Since we already know 2 is the answer, the other number has to be 8. Therefore, 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay, moving on, let's look at multiplication. The two times tables is really simple because what it basically is, is the number added to itself. So this is basically 10 plus 10, which is 20. What multiplication is, is basically adding any numbers a certain amount of time. For example, 1 times 2 is basically 1 plus 1. 2 times 2 is basically 2 plus 2. And so on. But, and also, 1 time or 3 times 5 is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 15. This is what multiplication is basically is. It's just the shortened version of this addition equation. Therefore, this answer is 20. However, this method is takes a really long time, so knowing your time table is going to be very useful. And that's very important because multiplication is used very often in math. So, yes. Now let's look at addition. We're going to look at number 15. 415 plus 15. So, we put the first number on top, it doesn't have to be the bigger one, and the second number on the bottom, like that. It doesn't. Ha the bigger one doesn't have to always go on top because it is commutative, and if you switch the order, it's going to lead to the same answer. However, it's easier to just organize things if the bigger number is on top. So stack them like this, and we're going to work from right to left. So. Let's look at 
this section. So 5 plus 5 is 10. You put this part down here and a 1 on top. So this turned into 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. But since there's no other digit in the front, it just continues. So 4 plus blank, which is a 0, is 4. And therefore, the answer is 430. Pretty simple, right? Okay, let's do one more problem together. So, Amber has 40 different kind of earrings to sell on Etsy. Half of them are gold, no, one fourth of them are silver, and the rest are multicolored. How many gold earrings does she have? So, what we're looking for is the half. So, what this is basically is, is 400. So, there's 400 earrings, right? If half of 400. If half of 400 is gold, one fourth of it silver, uh, like this, that means the other fourth is multicolored. But to be honest, this information doesn't really matter. Actually, it doesn't really matter because we're only looking for gold. We're not looking for silver or we're not looking for multicolor. So what you could do is take just half of 400. I like to put, the, so what you could do is half or a fraction is usually just the division. So you put 400 inside two on the outside, and then you solve. So two times two, oh, two I mean, how many times can two goes into four? The answer is two, I already said it. So you put the product below that, that makes zero, 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 200. And therefore she has 200 gold earrings.